Hello everyone, it's me, Daniel, with Website Candy once again. And um, I wanted to say thank you all for checking out my videos and leaving comments anytime you guys do. Um, that's just totally awesome. But um, today's tutorial is going to be really short. I know I said that last time, but it wasn't as short. But um, I just want to talk about Dreamweaver. Um, I kind of noticed that my Creative Cloud had updated and I said, okay, that's cool. Um, but one thing Thing that I kind of always have an issue with in reference to my creative cloud is it's like get an update but they won't really tell me what the update is or what to look for you know so it's like you go into it I came over here to Dreamweaver and I was doing some updates to my website here um, you see guys that I got this uh, learn how to start a web business um, you know just like this one right here for you know uh, 47 bucks a month really simple really easy and when I was making this update I came over here um, I do work on my local um, some guys out there work on the remote, which is pretty cool. Um, you guys are better than me, but I noticed that some of the folders were blue. I went to a creative um, cloud event uh, several months ago, and I had made this suggestion. I was talking to one of the evangelists. Um, he showed me where to go pop in my uh, information in reference to requests, and it looks like they're on the way. Um, we have blue little folders here to kind of help you identify because I tell you after working in Dreamweaver for several hours I start to get cross-eyed it'd be really cool to be able to go in here to the, these, these actual files and say hey I want to color code these as well um, because a lot of times I'm working with just my index file which is right here or especially if I get into the images I go over here to the images and then I'm looking through all these images on my website here and a lot of times I get over here into this folder um, which I should have a folder inside here and as you can see I'm having a hard time finding it but I have a portfolio folder inside here and um, to be able to find that there it is right there um, you know just as of yesterday it was really hard to find this folder um, so that's really cool that they kind of got some color coding going on um, they you know are understanding that it's a little hard on the eyes um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce over here to my testing server and as you can see when I connect through my testing server they made the little testing server green so that's really cool I don't usually use the testing server kinda of beyond that level there um, but you know I definitely did start off with using the testing server uh, quite a bit in reference to my development um, because I would make a lot of mistakes so um, that's really cool you know right over here the, um, um, on my local you know they're, the photos are black which is really cool um, one thing that I was a little bit disappointed in reference to Adobe and Dreamweaver um, and hey Adobe Dreamweaver Photoshop if you guys are listening if you guys are hiring I'm your guy I'd be happy to you know create a tutorial showing what's new um, in reference to as soon as it happens because this is a new update that happened in 2014 we're two days in and they say there's an update but they don't really give you too much information and I tweeted and Facebooked at them and sometimes the responses just go to the forums or you know it's a very vague um, response you know which I don't necessarily care much for but when I go to Dreamweaver CC Adobe Creative Cloud I really feel as though right here um, the first thing you should see is what the new update is and what it's all about um, you know um, I think it's pretty cool um, yeah, for them to update us and let us know that way and that could you know increase sales in reference to why people get involved um, to use Dreamweaver because it's so easy to use um, right over here I did do some digging around I did find a form over here on the forums I found a guy right here I clicked the link right here uh, what's new in Dreamweaver 3.2 and um, it took me over here to this page right here so you can actually do some print code you can print your code um, which is pretty cool hit con uh, control P uh, if you're on a Mac there I think command P or, or control command P on a Mac um, control P on a PC I haven't done it yet but you know I'm trying to save some paper uh, I don't like killing trees you know what I'm saying but hey whatever but here's what it looks like right here on the Windows here's what it looks like on the Mac um, the remote server on Windows you guys are um, yellow there on the Mac we're blue on the Windows the testing server and the uh, testing server on the Mac they're both green and you know um, who whoever uses this view <laughs> but anyway um, but yeah I just wanted to kind of show you guys that in reference to what's going on um, another addition of what I added to my website uh, you know the color coded I just noticed this little um, thing right here um, as far as the um, 
the different little features that they're offering there. Um, but something else I just noticed, um, what I just added to my website is um, I do use WePay. All my package programs within my Parallax website here are definitely within um, WePay. So if you click the little package right there, it's going to open up another tab and show you my different packages. Um, but what I really love about it is, um, and then also I added this yesterday pretty much right here where it bounces open, shows you the course, which is only 47 bucks a month um, in reference to everything I do, um, web development wise and, you know, computer wise, whatever, whatever. And um, um, something I just found within WePay, which is really cool, is, you know, if you find any of these videos pretty awesome, um, they help you out in any type of way, shape or form. Um, only thing I'm asking for you guys to do is just buy us a cup of coffee in reference to what we got going on. I tested it out there. I donated myself a dollar. Um, it's really easy. You just go put in your amount, whether it's two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, whatever. You hit donate right there. Um, let me take it out the zoom there so I can see that. And you can make it reoccur or this is just a one time payment. Um, you can say I'll cover the fees if you want to. And every little bit helps um, in reference to kind of keeping the videos going. Everything I do. Here's a lot of free information in reference to Paperly as far as social media. A lot of my clients do um, pay attention to this paper right here as far as different tips and tricks in reference to SEO, things of that nature. But hey, if I ever helped you out in any type of way, shape or form, like I said, um, you know, from these videos, it goes a long way and I truly appreciate it. But other than that, um, once again, Happy New Year. Um, looking to make some great things happen in 2014. And um, that's all I want to talk about. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.